Eddie Sanchina with the Walter Mars Company, and today I'm trying to take care of a, a, an issue in my house, which is waiting a little too long for the hot water to get to the for, uh, to the shower head when uh, taking a shower first thing in the morning. And also, as a secondary situation, we have a septic uh, system outside, so I would like to reduce the amount of water that goes to drain that is not necessary to do that. What we're going to try and do here, and I know we'll be successful, we're going to install an Aquamotion AM. H3K7, which is one of their premier products, okay? And what this will do for us is that this will provide hot water at the faucet, at the control for the shower, okay, when we get up in the morning to do it without any waste of water. In order to do this, for this particular unit, of which there are many which will adapt to all kinds of different situations in any home, we require a 115 volt uh, uh, outlet which is connected to the GFI, which I had a uh, electrician come in and run a line down from the GFI that we have over here down, and we have our outlet over here, and we're set for our uh, plumber, our licensed plumber, Joey Bonang, to come in and uh, do the installation. Basically what Joey's doing right now in preparation for the installation is he is removing the two uh, the hot water supply and the cold water supply from the supply control valves. So typically they're usually 3 8 so Joey's gonna is undoing uh, the hot and cold in preparation for the uh, installation. The second step is after the supplies, the hot and cold supply is taken off, the two adapters, okay, that Aquamotion provides in the kit will attach to the supply and then will allow for the cold and hot water supply to be reattached to this adaptive fitting. So now the, the timer has been set such that this will come on and provide the benefit that we need only when we uh, uh, anticipate demand. And um, Joey has done the final part of this, which is plug the unit into our uh, GFI uh, outlet underneath. The unit has a bracket on the bottom that you can see. It's meant it can sit right on the floor of the cabinet, or if it needs to be mounted in a uh, up on a wall or whatever it is, because of space, that can be done too. So anyway, it looks like we can start anticipating hot water almost in an instant, in the blink of an eye. That's right, got it. Oh, right. Hot already. That's hot already. Right, right. Perfect. Well, it looks like we've got a successful uh, operation and installation here today, thanks to uh, Joey Bonang of Bonang uh, JB Plumbing and Heating, Warwick, Rhode Island. Anyway, we've got it set in here. We've got the timer set up, uh, plugged into our GFI uh, uh, installation in uh, outlet, and we're basically looking at the pump runs at a, and draws about 0.6 amps when it's running. So uh, Aquamotion has estimated that for an average household, it's probably worth about $3 a year in terms of uh, actual electrical uh, cost, keeping hot water up at the tap. Thank you very much.